you know? Hey, uh, I have a, come to think of it, to piggyback off the story I just told and what you're saying is like telling your kids what to do. Have you ever encountered, you know, you might have. I used to have a friend. I'm no longer friends. And the story will become a little clearer in the near future. Mm -hmm. Who uh, was always told by her parents over and over and over, you got to find a nice Jewish boy. And Mm -hmm. that was the only thing they would accept. Right. And over time, this morphed into a discussion in how happy she was with her new boyfriend who was, uh, I want to say he was Indian or maybe Pakistani. They're madly in love. Very quickly. And I'm like, oh, you think things are going to go well? And the, the line that comes back is, I'm so excited. Our babies are going to be like superhumans. I can't wait to breed the white out of my family. <laughs> And the, as the discussion <laughs> continued, it, it became clear that this was the uh-huh. idea of, like, mm. the perfect future and the biggest fuck you to dad ever is mm. to just, like, oh, man, I, I'm going to have the most mixed kids I can get my hands on. And I'm like, how? Mm. I'm going to just back away from this whole... I'm out of here. I'm just Pat, I'm out. This is troubling. Sometimes <laughs> some people yeah. that have those traits and or ideologies don't reveal them immediately. And sometimes you find out a couple dates in. <laughs> <laughs> That, yeah, I believe to use a term from a decade ago that they had the drums playing, yeah, the whole time. And you're sitting in the background of their mind, you're sitting there having a nice meal and you're enjoying a good time. And little did you know that the person sitting across from you is staring at you. And they're hearing the drums. <laughs> and listen, listen. On a on a certain level, it is it is. A, I believe um, the Ballad of the Sad Cafe has the quote that said, um, "You know, in every relationship, there's the lover and the loved, and it is a uh, it is a good thing to want to be desired." But there is a point. Where that gets really weird and unhealthy. <laughs> you know, and I, I look I look back in time and and I've had time to think about this and I remembered a detail that you wouldn't think was important, right? About my former friend. Uh the the gentleman in question was not uh, I never met the guy. He was not Indian or Pakistani, he was in fact Iranian. Um, And the reason why this matters is because I should have seen this in advance. And it was, oh, where's he from? Oh, he's Persian. Like, what? That's not a, that's not that, he's, you mean he's Iranian? No, no, he's Persian. And there was like this romance to it. And it's like, mm-hmm. that's not a mm-hmm. place mm-hmm. anymore. Why is this, uh, why are, why did this conversation become weird over, oh, where's he from? So I should have seen it coming, right? Maybe, maybe. But, but then just like, bam, like, oh, your liberal ass is going full eugenics despite your dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? A fetching bachelorette that... from the Orient, you say. All right. Yeah, yeah. Listen. You, um, you, you enjoy that. Again, it's just there There are times. There's been more than uh, one occasion, more than two, actually, where, you you, you know, again, you meet somebody and, and uh, you discover whether it's delayed or immediately 
that it's like, hey, listen, you happen to be the right shade to get what I need to get across. <laughs> you got the chart on the door? Yep. That right there. It's the reverse of the Family Guy airport chart. Good to go. You're good to go. And it's like, you got some stuff you got to work out. You got you got to work out some stuff. I can't help you work that stuff out. You know, um, <laughs> it's a thing. It's not constant, but it's a thing, and it has existed. And uh, sometimes it's been like, yeah, within you know hours, and sometimes it's within a couple of dates. And you're like, oh boy, did I not see is that, that power like, level is hidden? That like a because, like, you, you and I have a the variation of that fear, right? Yours is, where is this coming from, right? And then mm -hmm. you do describe, like, uh-oh, only a couple dates in. Like, what, what if, like, the, I can only imagine the fear is, what if it was way more than a couple dates in? This is the issue, right? of course, yeah. Um, and it, and I, I have had the opposite fear, which I've tried to, you know, as I, as I got older, just mm -hmm. nip in the bud just as fast as possible and just, like, what if do you remember uh, do you remember the seinfeld episode where uh jerry is convinced this dentist converted to judaism for the jokes yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah 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 you remember what the the final punchline of that episode is no he's talking to his new girlfriend that he's been dating for a while and uh he's like oh dentists can you believe him she goes oh yeah and don't get me started on the blacks and the jews <laughs> <laughs> And then it has a freeze frame of Seinfeld's boom, laughing boom, face. Boom. <laughs> right? Like, that's 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 a fear. Yeah. I remember working retail, there'd be people that would come up to me to bitch. And just on the assumption that we were on the same team, like, I don't want to be on your team, man. Yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I, no, don't. No. It's the, no. Um, it's the, it's the <laughs> clip of Dwight staring at something like yeah and then what's her name little blonde uh, the girl that he's that he uh, that was a, a thing uh, with Pam? him uh no 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 the the weirdo i forgot her name but she's behind him oh. and then dwight turns around and goes uh because it's like you're not we're not on the same team get the fuck away from me it's you know it's absolutely that uh, angela yeah angela yeah um it is it is it is a thing man and and, and like okay listen like as uh, you gotta be real too like you do – there's nothing wrong with some of that in there. You do want some of that, right? You want you want a, a, a degree of the person you're with to be like, hey, I'm into you and what you are. That's healthy. Okay, that's what you mean by some of that. <laughs> Not Seinfeld. Not Seinfeld. Because I'm, like, I'm like narrowing my eyes very deeply and no. like – because we talked about many topics – yeah, yeah, no, no, we no, no. We talked no. about eugenics. You want about. you, you, you definitely want you know <laughs> the person to be into you. That's because cool. in the background, I'm like, are you saying you only want one drum to be playing in the back of their mind? Yes, yes, one, one Just drum is one. fine. One, one drum is acceptable. And there's other instruments. There's other instruments there. I believe. Yeah. I believe there's one drum playing in this house at all times. Okay. <laughs> I believe one. You know? It might be a djembe, but it is being played. But it's only one. And that's fine. I have no that's okay. Right? But there's a there is a distance between like that and um what you're describing that can only be called spite genics. Yeah, you, what you don't want is for uh, the climactic scene of the film Drumline to be playing in the back of someone's head at all times. <laughs> Featuring T.I. <laughs> Drumsticks in the air. Yo. We I march don't know. I watched that whole movie. That movie sucks. That movie had no uh, plots. Like, oh man, Ti's character can't read music, dude. Who can't? Who gives a shit? You just, yeah. 
Cause like there's a point, there's a point where as 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 you know, you you described earlier, it's just like, okay, there doesn't even need to be a per a person attached here. Like I need my vengeance. <laughs> oh, it's Nick Cannon. Whatever. I always get Nick Cannon confused. I I, I need my vengeance, and and this quest involves parts of you but quite frankly you can go either way i will have my revenge my parents yeah. will suffer you know um yeah anyway all right well what what happens when you eugenics your family to spite people and then those people eventually die like do you now no i don't need you children your your purpose is over well hopefully <laughs> you're you're okay with them being around in a, you know, hopefully you don't actually have a problem with it, you know, because if you if it turns out your hatred of your parents was like only dwarfing uh, uh, your hatred of <laughs> like the person you're with and then thus your kids, then yeah, we have a problem. You're 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 kind of a broken person. God bless. Mission accomplished. Mission all over. Scatter to the winds. Listen, everybody's got standards, but uh, revenge genetics. Holy fuck! <laughs> re but revenge genetics should not enter into your standards. Maybe. <laughs> hey, listen. Revenge genetics. That's it. That's it. You did it. You've created. Listen. You've created a new word. Listen. All I'm trying to say is. Take the ads out of NBA 2K <laughs> 2K20. Oh my God, that's what we started talking about. Jesus Take Christ! Take the ads out of NBA 2K21. Take that's them all, out. That's all I'm Take trying to say. Take them out. Get it out of there. All right. All right. How do we? I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care.